Hey y'all, what's going on? No, it's been a minute. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on. Ooh, child, excuse me. So, I'm still recovering from dental surgery. I'm in a rental car, so it looks different in here because I'm not in my car. So, um, I'm not back in my car yet. So, yes, I've been recovering from dental surgery and this has been the most most extensive dental surgery that I've ever had and recovery. Um, I'm still getting over some drainage from my mouth being open and all the drainage, I believe, caused me to get backed up in congestion because I was fine before my, my, my surgery. And so, but yeah, so I've been recovering from that. I'm in a much better place than what I was, but I'm still like taking some things easy, like some foods I still haven't uh, brought back into my diet because yeah still there's still i'm not out of the woods yet so i'm talking much better the lisp is gone thank god <laughs> no shade to anybody that got one that's just not how i talk so i was talking for a list for a minute and oh my god i just was so miserable um still just i think my discomfort level is down i would say my discomfort level is probably down to a three now it had been out of ten for the first week the second week was it stayed at a steady seven and i think this week it's it's at a three my pain level is i would say it's down to a one for the most part i've gotten um sometimes i may hit something still like when i'm brushing my teeth or when i'm trying to dental floss i just got back to being able to dental floss thank god i hate anybody that knows me knows i i'm not gonna play it by my teeth I like to have clean teeth, and I don't like nothing in my teeth, or nothing like that. So, me not being able to dental floss for the first two weeks, I was like, ah. but I couldn't anyway because I was in so much pain. So, but yeah, I'm back to um, dental flossing and everything like that. So, but I'm doing much better. I'm back to eating my fruits because I couldn't eat barely anything. First day was like mashed potatoes and applesauce and then second day was like I did some egg drop noodle soup and barely chewed on the wonton soup I was chewing with my fronters and stuff like that so I'm just happy now that I can chew on the sides of my mouth can't really chew in the back just yet but but I hope y'all are doing well um yeah that's what I've been doing working like crazy I'm just pulled up to the to the night job to the part time because part time is not always at night but it's typically going to be at night for the most part when I work on Sundays typically you know I can get Sundays can be in the morning or night so but I like to just say night job because for the most part I do work at night so part time is at night because I have a full time so that's what I, that's what's been going on with me just trying to get all this i was way worse than this like i was coughing it just was a mess i still got a slight 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 cough as you y'all can see when i first came home but i'm doing much better um with everything but i'm about to try these cherry plums sprouts has the best farmers for produce and i hope that never changes any store I would be like go to Sprouts for produce like out of all the stores that we have you know you can find some good stuff at farmers markets but sometimes if we want to be honest some farmers markets be some farmers markets be hitting and missing sometimes but these farmers Sprouts has a lot of organic farmers and these are organic they're called cherry plums um, a few weeks ago, before my surgery, I found some strawberry cherries. They were so good. They were pink on the inside. I, that, that particular day, I wasn't in the mood for content. So, I didn't share that with y'all. But they are called strawberry cherries. And I have not seen them since. So, um, so yeah. Cotton candy grapes finally came back. They were... They were it, I was with Cotton Candy Reese with 
grapes with like a week. I was without them for like a week because they were saying that the farmers hadn't dropped any off. I'm like, what? So, but they're back. So, yeah. I'm going to try these. And I'm going to sit here and read before I go into work. This is how they look. I don't have my sunroof or nothing. So I don't have a good lighting in this car. But this is how they look. Look like, honestly, look like small little pl plums. It can pass for like an apple too. But once you look in the middle, you see that it's, it's a plum. These are called cherry plums. It's supposed to be a mix in between the taste for the taste cherry and plum but we gonna see the cherry strawberries actually tasted like the mixture in between those two they were so good i like them better than any cherry that i've had so um so yeah let's try it out That skin is always tart and sour. I don't like sour stuff. It just tastes like a regular plum to me. It tastes like a regular plum to me. I mean, I don't, yeah, it tastes like a regular plum to me, they're good though, I mean, would it be something I can again, I like plums, but I'm not in love with plums, I'm in love with watermelon, which I just got to finish eating, so more watermelon, cotton candy grapes, that's those are my favorite fruits um and yellow mangoes look it's sweet on the inside but it tastes like a regular plum to me just a smaller version all right y'all hope y'all doing okay out there it's a lot going on my way per usual but i'm gonna try to get back to sharing more content Specifically, like food content and stuff like that. Um, let's see. So, cherry plums, sprouts. If you like plums, you'll definitely like these. Um, those particular plums are said to be used in making wines, um, making jams. Those are probably real good making some jam. Um, preserves and stuff like that. What else did it say? It said something else. Well, because I was looking it up earlier to see, you know, how they were grown and this, this and that. And something else they said. But fruits, any fruits, you could turn into a preserve or a jam or whatever. But these particular ones are said to make a really good wine, a really good jam, preserve. So, yeah. So y'all gardeners out there and homesteaders and people that make y'all own stuff, go to Sprouts and get you some cherry plums. Um, I don't remember how much they were. I think they were $4.99 a pound, $3.99 a pound. I can't remember. It came in a bag. So it's like a whole bunch of them in a bag. So um, but anyway, I'm rambling. Y'all have a good and blessed day.